everyone and welcome to Slime Reviews. I'm Slime and today I'm going to be opening a package from Sonria Slime Shop. And um, the first thing I can say is that her packaging's adorable. I've never seen a pink um, priority mail before and it's really cute. This package arrived 10 days after creating the shipping label, which is not that bad. I was surprised to see there was another bag inside of it, but honestly it was like a peace of mind because that just means that it was really well secured and well bubble wrapped. The company was nice enough to include their business card with some borax and a little lollipop. So I ordered three slimes from her shop. I got honeydew slush, cherry chocolate mochi, and papaya snow. And all of these slimes were originally $12, but I bought them for 10 because they were on discount at the time. So the first slime we're gonna look at is honeydew slush. Um, it's scented as a honeydew melon and it is listed as an icy cream texture. I, I've never played with an icy cream texture, so I wouldn't know what it's supposed to be like, but I do like the texture of this slime. It's kind of reminded me of like a cloud cream. And the scent, it smelled very nice and refreshing, you know, for summertime. Um, the thing about it is like, I don't know why, it reminded me of like, it brought me back to my childhood. It, like, you know those shampoos that would be shaped as a fish? I don't know, like I've always, I love those scents. They're great scents. And I, I got that from the slime for some reason. The texture is really soft and it really didn't stick at all. And I just like how just easy it is to play with. This is something that you can probably like travel with and it wouldn't be messy at all. It was hard to like make it pop and maybe that was just because of the type of texture. Again, I've never played with this kind of texture. It did pop uh, a little bit, but um, it didn't inflate, which for some reason I thought it was going to. Which, and it's fine if it didn't really, but I thought it was going to inflate. And it did a, a like tiny, tiny bit. Maybe if I played with it more, but either way, I really like this slime. It's, you know, it's simple, but I enjoyed it. It was just, sometimes simple is best. <laughs> so for honeydew slush, that's an easy 10 out of 10 slime. Up next, we have papaya snow, and this one is a cloud slime. And um, I was really excited to try this because I've never tried one of Sonria's cloud slimes before. Um, it was like, it was pretty stiff, like not like super stiff, but to the point where when I would try to stretch it, it kind of felt like I was exercising. But <laughs> that sounds wrong. Like I, I'll like it probably was just because it was like fresh out of the container, and um, I played with it for like five minutes. And it, as I like played with it more and more, the drizzle and the stretch was becoming easier. So that was reassuring that it was probably just because it was sitting for a while. And um, I really enjoyed the scent of this slime. It was listed as a rainbow sherbet. And I definitely got that from this smell. It was just a nice, refreshing, sherbet smell. <laughs> 
And as most cloud slimes tend to do, there was um, some snow residue left on my hands. And um, I feel like that usually happens when the slime gets a little older. So, I, you know, I'm not like that experienced with cloud slime. Maybe I'm wrong, but I just thought it was a bit too much residue for as little as I started playing with it. But it's fine because you're supposed to wash your hands anyway after playing with slime kids. So just do that and you'll be fine. <laughs> for papaya snow, um, I have to give it a 9.5 out of slime. And that's mostly just because my hands just felt dirtier than I thought for the first time playing with it. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it doesn't deserve that 0.5 knockoff. Let me know in the comments if I'm being like too judgmental, but I really do love the slime overall. And lastly, we have cherry chocolate mochi. And I have to say, this was my favorite one out of the whole order. This is a slushy bead slime. The scent, um, it kind of speaks for itself. It's cherry chocolate. And um, it, it was spot on. The scent was really, really good. And I love how they added the little chocolate bits in it. It just added the, to the whole aesthetic of the cherries with the chocolate. <laughs> And like most slimes during the summertime, it was a little melted. So I did have to add a little bit of activator, but after I added the activator, it was perfect. By perfect meaning it tore a tiny bit when I first started stretching it, but then it was, it was great after that, I promise. It was really nice. It's still stuck a little bit, but that's because I'm always like nervous about overactivating it. This slime was really hard to stop playing with even after recording this video. This was just like seriously one of my favorites. Every time I order from Sonria's shop, there's always one slime that just really stands out to me. And it was definitely, this was the winner this time. For cherry chocolate mochi, super easy. 10 out of 10 slime. Thank you guys so much for checking out my video and um, if you really like Sonria slimes I highly recommend checking out her shop she has even more cool slimes coming out all the time and um, follow her on Instagram because it's always nice to just keep up to date with what slimes are gonna be coming out next <laughs> and if you guys are curious I'm on Instagram too so follow me if you want to see daily slimes and just slimes. So yeah, thanks a lot for checking out my video and I hope to see you next time. Thank you.